Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am discussing skincare. Skincare is something I've really struggled with over the last sort of five years probably um, due to some hormonal treatments and without going into too much detail, I had to have two um, treatments to put me in a chemical menopause. Upside, help treat my condition. Downside, skin was a nightmare. Um, so I was having a chat with my friend. To cut a long story short, she's very very aware of what she puts into her body but she hadn't been very aware about what she was putting on her body and i have to admit me neither um we all know that i've tested out um 24 hours of foundation on my face while flying to australia and things like that and it's no wonder that my skin was kind of rebelling it had it was taking hits from all sides i was absolutely abusing it with slapping 10 ton of everything on it but also I wasn't looking after kind of what was going on underneath. So she had discovered something called Tropic and she suggested that I try it. Now, I did a little bit of research into the company and I really liked kind of their ethic and also the fact that everything that goes into their skincare is natural. Um, by the way, again, not sponsored, um, just something I thought I'd like to try out. So after having um, a quick look on their website, I found that they did a full kind of skincare routine range. So I ordered that. Now, one thing I did notice when I was on the website was that they don't ask you your skin type. And the reason I found out later they don't ask you that is because these are all natural things. So it shouldn't matter whether you are oily, combination, dry, because these are going to work apparently, we will see, for everybody. So getting down to it, my parcel of the full skincare routine arrived this morning. And as you can see here, it is my little order note. Um, already I'm quite liking this. I mean, this tropical kind of feel, obviously tropics, tropical. Um, and I just thought I'd share the unboxing with you guys so that you can go on this skincare journey with me. So you'll get to see the good, the not so good, if there is any, um, you're also really sorry, guys, but you're also going to get to see the ugly underneath the makeup. So here we go. Unboxing. So the first thing I notice is that it's come really pretty packaged with like tissue paper with the tropical kind of design that was on here, but in a recess. Wow. And then let me show you. This is how it arrived. Now there's a fair amount in here i paid i think 98 pounds because i because i was able to pick and choose kind of what i wanted so this is the bamboo face cloth um it says that it is an antibacterial face cloth it's made from 100 percent organic sustainable bamboo fibers and it says that this is to use with the skip smoothing cleanser now according to this you wash it once a week and you replace it every three months so that's quite nice we're gonna we're gonna open it okay so i don't want to open it it's really pretty guys look so it has a little thing for me to open here i feel kind of mean anyway oh now i don't know what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting this so i'm gonna just try and see if i can show you if it'll focus it's a really strange kind of um texture I say really strange, but I really quite like it. So, oh, it's, fa Ooh, it's fairly large. It fits my face. <laughs> um, we like that. We like it when it's... So, has anyone ever had that happen? Um, you, you order a face cloth and it comes and it's this big. <laughs> You'll know that I've had that happen because I've reviewed one on this channel. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I really like that. That is, that is huge. It also feels really soft. Um, so obviously it's going to be soft on your skin. I'll see what it's like after I've kind of put it in water and things later on when I'm taking my makeup off. I'm going to take you on the journey with me. So that's the bamboo face cloth. What have we got next? So the next thing that has come out is the Tropic Deep Hydration. So they're all in this beautiful packaging, which I have to say it's it's heavy. It feels like there's a lot in there. Now, I ordered a deep hydration mask because sometimes I find that specifically here, I get like really dry skin and it's really bizarre. So this will feel a bit oily, but then when you rub your finger across it, it's actually really dry. This is the, the mask. I, 
on. I think they're glass, which I quite like. Oh, I just noticed it says keep refrigerated. So I have to put this in the fridge. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you don't put it in the fridge. Um, so it says apply as often as desired to dry skin, leave for 20 to 30 minutes and rinse for instantly smooth, deeply hydrated skin. So here's the fun part. We're going to open it up and we're going to have a sniff. Oh, I don't know what that smells of. It smells lovely. Now, there's something in there that is literally making me think of when I was young, but I don't know what. That's going to bug the living daylights out of me. So the 20 to 30 minutes that I have it on my face during the week, I will attempt to resurrect that memory from my brain. And I will let you know what it is, if I can remember. Um... But yeah, so we keep this refrigerated. Now, one thing I have just noticed. Um, so, you know, guys, when you buy skincare, you get that little, um, it's like a little pot and it's got how many months you can keep it once you've opened it. It might be six months, it might be 12, it might be 18, things like that. I think I've actually once seen one for 24. They don't have any of that on here because they have... A best before date, a little bit like your um, food would have. And the reason for that, everything in here is natural and was created in an actual kitchen, um, which I kind of really love because I often think, well, it's great putting that teeny tiny little thing that says eight months or six months or whatever it is. Hands up, who, who pays attention to that? I don't. I do know someone that sticks a sticker on theirs to say exactly when they opened it, but they're a little bit OCD. <laughs> um, and I'd love to be that organised that I could put a thing on when I open my makeup and when I need to use it by. It doesn't happen. And that's probably why my skin is so bad. But the fact that these have a best before date printed right on the bottom of the thing, I, I love that. I love that. Right. So far too much waffle about one product. <laughs> So this is the smoothing cleanser. Now I, oops, oh, it slides out. So I ordered it in unscented. And the reason being on the website, it said um, to order unscented to begin with, if you have sensitive skin, which I do. So we're going to try it unscented. And then maybe next time, if there's a next time, we will order scented. So it slides out of the packaging like this. Now, for someone like me who really, really likes packaging... Here's a struggle. I've just noticed that there's there's stuff in there to explain how to use this, which means I have to open it, which means I can't put it back inside. Anyway, just a little thing. So this is what it looks like. This is the smoothing cleanser. Now, I've got to say, it looks quite posh. I am officially a packaging person, as you will uh, you will realise. So it says that it effortlessly melts away makeup and impurities. Um, and it tells you how, how to do this. And again, no little 6 month, 12 month, 18 months. Just a best before date. They are also completely vegan, I can see on here. And let's just have a bit of a... So, ooh, so I'm going to pop a little bit out. We'll see what it's like. Well, that feels, that's really strange, not in a bad way, but that feels like a heavy, expensive face cream, which considering that's the cleanser, when you add the water to it, I feel like already that feels like really smooth, really silky. I already think I like it. I haven't even put it on my face yet. So I'm dying to see what this says inside. So we're going to try and open it without making too much of a mess, she says. No, we made a mess, but anyway. So, ah, okay, so it has exactly the same things that it has on the back of the bottle. And then it also has a little note from Susie Mart, who is the um, creator of all of this Tropics range. And I believe that she was on one of the seasons of The Apprentice, didn't win, but actually Alan Sugar has um, invested in her company. So yeah, we, we already like that. It's definitely unscented, there's no smell there. So that would then be followed, I believe, 
with the vitamin toner again in this utterly beautiful packaging now i'm going to assume that inside the packaging the same as the other one it's going to tell you exactly the same thing that was on the bottle um so this is the vitamin toner now it says pore refining refining mist i like the idea of pore refining don't we all and it's infused with vitamins and amino acids which should help balance out your skin so i'm gonna give that a bit of a okay oh that's that same smell sim well similar it's not exactly the same um but there's something in there and i can't it's it's something from it's something from the fridge but i don't know what it is that's so annoying um now what i would say is in the interest of being fair i absolutely love how that feels but have we ever had those um makeup fixing sprays that instead of finely misting they spit it does do that a little bit which is totally fine because it's not a makeup fixing spray obviously um but i'm guessing that you still have to kind of um work it into your face so then you would follow that toner i so hope i'm doing this right with your skin feast which is the nourishing cream now this is a concentrate so i'm going to say that you don't need to put a lot in again it tells you on the bottom and again a slightly different um expiry date so that's there now i don't know if you can see it does come out a little yellowy now i would think that that is probably because these are all natural ingredients if you get something that is completely white has it had some bleach in it that would be my question so again that is smoothing in it feels really smooth but it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel sticky there's no there's no that like claggy feeling i like it okay so as part of this package you'll see i've already had the cloth the cleanser the toner the um the skin feast which is is your moisturizer i've also had a deep hydrating mask so we're five things in bear that in mind i know i said it was 98 pounds but you know i feel like if you actually went to somewhere on one of the um, department store counters, how much would you pay for all of your face things? So this then it comes with two, um, I don't know what to call them, like oils or um, nourishment kind of things. So the first thing I chose was this, which is called Glowberry. Now, so online, this kind of looked like a dark kind of bottle but i don't know if you can see it's it's a very bright pink kind of bottle and it has um a completely clear liquid in again it's glass and it has the pipette now there's 30 mils of product in here so this is my favorite part we're gonna have a sniff now i'm telling you if i open this and it smells like something in my fridge that i don't know about i'm just not gonna say that, <laughs> that again but it comes in a little glass pipette Oh, okay. This time I know what that smells like and I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm quite excited about it. Um, I need to find out what's in it first before I tell you what I think it smells like. So where are the ingredients? Let me see. So it has strawberry fruit extract. Yeah, so I think this smells very subtly of ribena <laughs> now that's awesome because that's one of my favorite drinks anyway here in the uk but the fact that it smells of ribena and then when i've looked in the ingredients it has rye berry fruit extract which i'm assuming is what's giving it that ribena smell um that's brilliant that's kind of made my day so yeah that's that's that now i'm gonna pop that back in the box because i can because it does stay back in the box i love it now that's that one so that's your sixth product that's arrived so the glowberry the purpose of that is obviously to make your skin glow it's to give it a youthful kind of complexion i have seen some pictures on their website and my friend's picture and the picture she sent me she didn't have any makeup on and she kind of had that look of, you know, when we all put that, uh, when we put highlighter, things like that on, she she looked like that. She had no makeup on and she 
she literally puts it down to this so yeah if ever there was a selling point a no makeup selfie that makes you look like you have makeup on i'm there so the other one is this one which is called super greens now if i remember rightly this one is to kind of help your skin recover from everything it kind of encounters in the day it's called super greens and it's very much along those lines of adding green foods to your diet i guess um we all know about superfoods we know about kale we know about those kind of things and i'm gonna assume that there's probably that kind of thing in here yep surprise surprise kale um <laughs> but again this is a 30 mil product so i'm going to just have a sniff now i'm assuming this isn't going to smell like ribena which is kind of sad but anyway okay so that's a slightly earthy earthy smell but again it is something that i think i i know smell wise i might run these past my husband and see what he has to say because he's a chef so he should know some some kitchen smells now it says it has broccoli in here as well but i don't think that's what that smell is but it's something else green it's definitely not broccoli i don't know what it is but again that's going to annoy me um but this is the nutrient boost oil so i think this one goes on last doesn't tell you how often i'm guessing you can put it on every day if you want to um and that's everything that is in my box yep so it oh and it comes with wooden packaging as well which i really like um there's no plastic in here at all so everything that it came in i would suggest is recyclable which we love um and yeah so my overall thoughts right now love the packaging <laughs> really like the smells particularly ribena thank you please feel free to put that smell in all my skincare um and i actually think it was really good value for money because if i look back at how much money i've spent on things now the big um clean up that i did the other day of all of my products and my um makeup and everything else i did a quick calculation i probably threw away about 700 pounds worth of stuff totally fine some of it was off some of it wasn't working the stressful part for me was that in that bundle of things there were things that had never even been opened because i'd bought two because you got one free and unfortunately when i'd tested it it just hadn't worked so yeah we're gonna do a skincare series my plan is to um later on we will do a remove my makeup with me um and we will test out all of the things and see how my face feels um and how i feel about the skincare once i've actually tested it because it's all well and good saying oh i love the packaging if it's again no good for my skin however i would say that two things one there's no chemicals in here that are going to hopefully cause any harsh kind of reaction and there isn't anything i can see in their list of ingredients um food wise that i would have a problem with two they have i think it's a 90 day money back guarantee so they suggest you use it for three months so that's what we're going to do people we're going to use it for three months so i'm going to do my video tonight in a week i'm going to do a video because obviously a good week of testing everything out and then at least i'll know which things i really love which things i kind of love which things i think i can do without um then i'll do a one month check-in and let you know how my skin is feeling we'll do a two month check-in we'll do a three month check-in so by then i should be able to tell you guys exactly how i feel about the skincare so yeah that's where we are thank you as always for watching if anyone's got any questions about where i found the website or anything like that please leave me a comment like subscribe all of that jazz um if anybody's tried it out please let me know i'm quite interested to find out if anyone else has tried it and what their experience has been but on that note i'm going to let you all go and enjoy, it's, it's a saturday here i would like to say enjoy your weekend however it's looking a bit stormy and yucky out there so yeah um 
but I'll leave you now. Thank you as always for watching guys and I will be back with you soon with the taking my makeup off video. Mwah.